All right, welcome back to Trans Guy Reacts. My name is Nick, and I make videos about whatever I want to make videos about, usually LGBTQ stuff. Uh, today I'm talking about the WNBA game, the final game. It was the Li New York Liberty versus the Minnesota Lynx, game three of a best of five. The series is tied one to one, um, and this game was at Minnesota with a whopping 19,500 fans in attendance, and it was a whiteout game. Everyone was, uh, they gave them white shirts, so it was completely whited out. Fantastic. Before the game started, you had the WNBA countdown with LaChina Robinson, Andrea Carter, uh, Chinea Wumake, and Carolyn Peck, which I love. Unfortunately, they did start off the show letting us know that we had some hate crimes going on, so um, unfortunately, uh, Brianna Stewart's wife, Marta, uh, receives a death threat via email, which is ridiculous, um, and it kind of speaks to why like m my comments are usually turned off. Uh, it's just too much entitlement and haters out there, um, and uh, I, don't, I don't read my comments, uh, so I don't be seeing any hate. I luckily have someone um, that I hire to handle my comment sections that I do have on, and I only hear about the nice comments or if there's something I need to respond to. Um, but and even my like email, I have keywords like uh, uh, highlighted that won't get through and variations of those keywords, so I don't see hate comments. Uh, but uh, you know comments and people's beliefs um are just you know people i just you're just not important to me sorry I, sorry not sorry so i don't have the bandwidth for that kind of hatred and it just it's just really unfortunate um if you do comment nice things i will hear about it though so please comment ni nice things but otherwise it's just a sad state of the world that we live in where people have to worry about getting unsolicited hate hate at them and death threats for just being who they are just being a queer person and yeah i ain't got time for that so my comments are usually off, so you just got to deal with it. Oh, I just realized my light's not on. Let's give a little bit of light. Let there be light. Anyway, so back to the game. The game starts. We had Ryan Ruko, Rebecca Lobo, and Holly Rowe on the call. The commentators, I do not like them. I've talked about this many times before. They're very boring, cheesy, uh, say very um, uh, biased things, especially Rebecca. And Holly just is so inappropriate with her background information. Anyway, into the game. First quarter, the Lynx start strong with three back-to-back -back turnovers, forcing Liberty to take timeout with just three minutes into the game. The Lynx were just killing the Liberty in that first quarter. It ended 18-26. to 26. You go into the second quarter, pretty much much of the same thing as the first quarter. Alana Smith unfortunately picks up her third foul and has to go out. And she might be injured at that point because she fell really hard on her back and her hip area um, after uh, fouling on the play against John Claude Jones. Uh, Leonie Feebich uh, is the first Liberty player to be in double digits in the second quarter with less than a minute to go in the game. And Sabrina Inescu doesn't get her first points until five seconds left in the second quarter. It's 35 to 43. We go into halftime again. LaChina, Andrea, Chanae, and Carolyn give them a call. Love to see it. Love the lovely shades of brown and the context and the background. They're so good at what they do. I love to see them. Go into the third quarter. Uh, uh, Atlanta Smith is back on the court, but she's moving real slow. Uh, she does pick up her fourth offensive foul uh, with seven minutes left in the quarter. So Smith does leave, and she goes back to the locker room again. The Liberty are able to um, get the lead down to five points, and with four minutes left, Atlanta Smith does come back into uh, on the bench, um, and it, but it looks like she's been crying, okay? So she's such a tough player, and she always goes so hard, and she gets fouled hard really a lot. I really hope she's not injured, but she looked like she was in a lot of pain. Uh, the Lynx are able to keep a uh, stealing the ball from Liberty, plus uh, there was just a lot of terrible rebounding from the Liberty, and the Lynx were able to get the lead back up to like 10 points again. But at the last like last two minutes of the game, or of the, that quarter, Liberty are uh, able to chip at the score, and they go on an 8-0 run to end the quarter. It's 61-62. to Fourth quarter is getting wild, okay? Fourth quarter, Smith, Atlanta Smith is back on the court, uh, but uh, Brianna Stewart is keeping them in the game. Um, Atlanta Stewart fouls Stewart and gets her fifth uh, foul with six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Leone Feebich uh, for the New York Liberty gets hit with a monster screen by Maisha Hines Allen. And Maisha Hines Allen is like, she, she she's thick. She's not thick. She's like, uh, she's uh, strong. She's hard. And Leone hit her so hard and fell down. And this is the fourth time this uh, during the playoffs that she's had a super hard foul. And I'm not sure if it's her teammates not calling it out, if it's too loud in the arena, or if there's a delay in like processing and registering that she's getting told that there's a there's a screen coming because she's German. So she might not be like thinking in English when she's hearing things. I don't know what it is, but that's ridiculous. This is her fourth time hitting a hard screen. They had to call a timeout actually, uh, and help her off the court because she was like so banged up, and ridiculous. Uh, Stewart, uh, Brianna Stewart was blocking some big ass shots, keeping Liberty in the game. Everyone else was not doing all that much to be honest. I was like kind of disappointed with what was going on with the Liberty during this fourth quarter, but whatever. They were they're there. Um, Jungle Jones does hit 
two big shots and then Sabrina hits this crazy big three quiets the arena it's 77 to 73 55 seconds left in the game Bridget Carlton goes for a, uh, scores a layup it's 77 to 75 34 seconds left in the game timeout New York Liberty Sabrina goes in she shoots a three it's in and out oh tragic Minnesota gets the rebound and takes a timeout 20 seconds left Nafisa Collier shoots a layup and gets fouled by John Quell she doesn't get the layup but she gets the free throws she does make both of them tying the game 77 to 77 16 seconds left Liberty timeout uh, uh, Michaela McBride, Michaela McBride, Kayla McBride fouls Sabrina Inescu, but they have a foul to give. Ten seconds left. So then Sabrina takes a super long shot, her 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 specialty, if you will, and makes it eighty to seventy seven. Quiets the crowd. I was shook. I didn't think it was going in. One second left on the clock. Links reset the clock. Uh, re do the reset timeout. Taking the ball, but they can't get a shot off. Liberty win the game crazy it was a crazy ending uh sabrina inescu was uh, interviewed after the game by holly rowe and she was quite emotional i mean makes sense it was a big shot and she deserved uh, all the accolades because she didn't play that well in the game but that last fourth quarter she she turned it on brianna stewart was interviewed after the game by svp for the sports center which is great and then andrea carter broke it down which i love so finn fucking tastic game um now let me break down oh, if i can even find it <laughs> where is the box score what do I do with it? All right, it's right here. Okay, so the box score for this game, let's talk about the Minnesota Lynx. Uh, Bridget Carlton had 14 points. Uh, Nafisa Collier had 22 points, nine rebounds, five steals. Um, uh, Mc Kayla McRide had 19 points. She also had two steals. Uh, Courtney Williams had 12 points. She had eight assists and five rebounds, also two steals. They were just stealing the ball left, left and right. And that was pretty much it for in terms of, like, offense. A couple other people scored a few points, but it just they were doing more defense. Then you get into the New York Liberty. But not just Lane Hamilton, who had a great game last last game, just wasn't able to do that. But she did have two steals, one block, and, like, five rebounds and three assists. She only had two points, though. Brianna Stewart had 30 points, 11 rebounds for a double-double, um, one steal, and four blocks. She had some really monster blocks in the game. John Cole Jones had 13 points, well, one steal, two blocks. Um, Felina Fibich had 13 points. Uh, Sabrina Nescu had 13 points, six assists, five rebounds, one steal, one block. And Cordy Vanishley had five, Nira Hassabli had four. Yeah, so just a much better uh, game offensively in the third and fourth quarter for the Liberty. Uh, they were getting their ass kicked in that first half, but yay, basketball is a game of runs, and they were on a run. So, that was the highlights of the game. That was the recap. If you like this kind of content, I will see y'all in game four. Peace. Oh, <laughs> peace. <laughs>